I posted something to my Facebook profile recently that got a lot of interest and it was where I was sharing about my shift in perception recently and I really should have clarified that by recently I mean I don't I can't pinpoint that it was the past few weeks it could have been the past few months or even gradually over the past few years but my shift in perception is that divine love is profoundly taking care of you at all times and is pouring forth love and wisdom into your life in enormous abundance all the time and the question is whether you are open to receiving it and I've had many moments especially recently where I've just had to stop and marvel at how much love there is that's being poured out to me and to every being in this world and so one of the questions that I received was well George is there something are there some practices you did that helped you to be more open to receiving that divine love and here in this video I will share with you um, three practices that I think have been instrumental in helping me and all three are start with the letter R so hopefully it's a little easier to remember the first one is to read and by read I mean it could be articles it could be books it could be listening to podcasts or watching relevant videos but read about divine love read about um, whatever it is your spiritual path is my uh, my belief and I, I, I really do believe this is true um, I think it's true for 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 everyone however you want to say it is that the angels utilize what the language we already have in our mind and the thoughts that we already have in order to remind us of divine love and you could say it's angels or you could say that for a secular person it could be well just because you've read enough those ideas are you have access to those ideas so I, whether you want to talk about spiritual or whether you want to talk about secular or whatever religion you want um, you know God has access you know to the ideas that you yourself have consumed God, you know the angels God you know your your psyche cannot remind you of things that you haven't yet got put inside of you right so reading is incredibly important for me the, the 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 literature that is has been so life-changing is reading near-death experiences and uh, this is why I post occasionally on my Facebook profile sort of the latest near-death experience that I've read that was really that really touched me and um, there are several I'll put in the notes of this video several resources where you could find more of that to 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 fill your mind with that goodness so that you can be reminded at, at, at the right times um, when you need to to open and receive divine love so that's the first one is reading the second one I call reboot rebooting or some people say resetting which is several times a day I will pause especially in the morning you know one of the first things I do before I start my work day is to do what I call an energy reboot and I will link in the notes of this video to a, another video I where I describe what that practice is but it's it's this it's it's whatever practice you need to do to go to, to just even if it takes one minute to get back in touch with the reality at least in theory at least in theory even if you don't feel it I, when I do my energy reboot it's not like every single time I break down in, in tears of joy no but I do it anyway because at least in theory I know by doing my energy reboot I, I, I do feel a little bit better even if it's just a little bit better a little bit more connected to to the divine that's reboot and then the third one is to reframe and some people call this a gratitude practice it's basically to reframe as many things as you can about your experience to remind you that that is actually a representation of divine caring for you so the fact that I'm walking on stable ground right now and that you are walking and standing and sitting on a stable ground is a representation of the stability of divine love in your life does that make sense um, you turn on the faucet and the faucet just flows you see the flow of that water as a representation 
of the limitless, of course, water on earth is not limitless, but see that, reframe it as the limitless love of God. Like in the shower, again, you're being showered by the love of God. If you go outside and look at the light and how the light fills, fills the environment, it's like the light of God is filling your life. So as many things as you can be creative to reframe your everyday experience to say, ah, this is a representation of the love of God. And if you just take even five seconds to pause and feel that, it takes many, 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 many moments of this to change, I think, to change one's consciousness. So read uplifting spiritual literature or listen to podcasts that are such in such ways or to watch videos like that. Reboot on a regular basis, hopefully several times a day when you're reconnecting to the divine. And then third is to reframe as much as you can in your everyday environment. Okay, being out in nature is much easier to reframe. To say, my God, look at this beauty. And this is the abundance of just leaves on the trees. It's just every single leaf is like calling out to you. I love you. I love you. I love you, says the divine. So I hope this is helpful. And um, I hope you'll try these practices. Until the next video, I'm George Cow, wishing you well.